Hello, beloved. Welcome back to my channel. It's your priestess, Journey Divine, coming to you on this beautiful day with another inspired message. How you doing today, king and queen, gods and goddesses, my collectives and cross-watchers? Glad you are here with me. At some point, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Share the video if you can. Come back again and get more inspirational messages. We are... At the end of a year, in winter stillness, full moon energy, and Sagittarius, it's a lot going on in the atmosphere, in the environment. You could be feeling the energetic pull deeply if you are transforming. You could be feeling the chaotic, chaotic energy of those in separation at this moment, trying to decide in this period of nostalgia and celebration where people usually come together in unity for the holidays. Missing you. Thinking of that lost twin. Waiting for your kingdom soulmate. Spouse. Are you out here singling and mingling in these streets? Enjoying the holidays? Getting ready for a new year? They will begin in the spring. Hmm. If you're a spiritualist, you know what I mean. Abundance, harvest, coming in and prosperity. Bringing in a new year. When it all begins to grow again. Not the death of winter stillness. Where all is washed away, diminished. Paused. Not a time of celebration. Not a time of new year. Yes? So no matter what your zodiac sign, your gender, your culture, your race, your ethnicity... Your status. Spirit speaks through me to all of you to bring you clarity, confirmation, and for some even warnings. What's going on in your love life, with your children in your home, with your finances, with your purpose? Hmm. Gonna pull a few cards. We're gonna see what's going on. Who's in your energy, beloved? And what's to come? This will be a full December reading to the top off the end of the year. What is to be expected? What is to be focused on? What the Spirit wants you to hold near and dear to your heart? Are we forgiving and letting go? Are we, are we reuniting? And restarting something beautiful? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> there is the devil card. There's that devil in your energy. This is Capricorn energy. You could be the Capricorn watching, standing up, fighting the demons, doing the shadow work, coming out on top and raging for what you believe in. Controlling your domain. This could be someone who practices the occult. Someone who is into darker divination, but is not a dark worker. But knows how to have feet in both light and dark places. Equalizing their balance within. Because with the devil... In the moon, someone needs to get into the intuition. Someone needs to reevaluate. Someone needs to think very carefully about a codependent relationship, a trauma bond, something that is more painful than peaceful, something that holds you hostage to not living your dream. Your purpose and your truth. Now this could be just an energy that you embody. A fear. A failure of abandonment of success. Or this could be someone embodying your energy. Siphoning you back into their life. A missed opportunity. They see you as highly intuitive. Tapped in. And they may be afraid to reveal their truth to you. Or afraid that you already know. 
the truth that they were trying to hide all along from you. Moving on to calmer waters, calmer days, more peaceful times. Walking away from anything that hurts you, harms you, distracts you. A lot of heavy water, someone in their emotions after a period of fight, survival, painful endings, revelations about who people really are in your energy, seeing things for what they really were, making the decision to cut people off, to cut ties off, to move to a place of peace, tranquility. Where you can truly step into your power. Taking your power back from anyone that has tried to control you, manipulate you, hold you down, dim your lights. It could be dark witches in your energy, energetically speaking. Haters, envious, jealous. People from your past that see you walking away as a shameful lesson, as a betrayal, when all you were trying to do was find your place. You have giving and receiving. These people could have bragged from you in the past, not valued you or shown you your worth. You opened your eyes to a situation that was unbalanced, unjust, unaligned with who you truly were. The Hierophant, a high spiritually connected being. Your self-made, anointed from birth. Followed and governed by the higher spirits in a higher court. They woke you up, tapped you on your head, revealed truths to you. Tower moments brought in as a divine intervention. Now you see what has truly gone on in the midst of your energy because you went within. In hermit mode, you took accountability for your place, your choices, mistakes. You didn't hold grudges. You didn't seek revenge. You moved on. Went within. Did your own shadow work. You wanted to change. You wanted to elevate. You didn't blame or guilt or shame. Yes, you speak your truth. You stand in your power as you should. And all those who have to fear the wrath of that. Karming debts must be paid. For the wheel of fortune has now turned in your favor. The winds of times are changing. Beginner's luck. Things are looking up. There were once places of pain and now places of memories, lessons that taught you to choose you first. But there are people watching your transformation, your ascension, your elevation, the people you walked away from, they're watching you, stalking you, talking about you, wondering about you, confused about you, communicating in groups about you. They see the changes you've made. They see the life you live, the peace you embody. You could be in the public eye, have a platform. They see you winning, healing, and they can't understand how all they threw against you, and you're still out here shining, showing up, glowing up. You have an offer coming in, a slow moving offer of prosperity, a gift, a promise, a suda, an option, an admirer. This is the big reveal. This is the sign you've been waiting for. Sunny days are approaching. Joy and harmony shall re-enter your life and all will be well. You will know peace. 
You are now a revealer of truth. It is your purpose, it is a prophecy that you will glow and you will shine. Sun, courage, Leo energy, confidence. You exude confidence. And there are people envious of your glow up. We have Leo, we have Virgo. We have Capricorn. We have Sagittarius. We have Cancer. Pisces. Capricorn again. Gemini. And Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus. Part of Fortune. Now, we will conclude with our financial freedom, my own personal oracle deck that I co-collaborated with Spirit to bring to you, messages of finance, freedom, stability, abundance, prosperity, what's coming your way for the month of December, related to money. Mm, you always, we always want to know that, don't we, beloved? <laughs> Yes, we do. Okay. We've got a lot of air. Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, or air represents swords, communication, knowledge, wondering, thinking, being tapped in. You may be in your head a lot about your finances, about money. You may be anticipating something coming in. There may be some commu communication coming towards you soon about some money. Because we have startup. It is either time to start that business, put that idea out there, begin that project. Or someone has started something that they want to include you in. They see your potential. They see your gifts. They may want to collaborate with you. An offer could be coming. Some news. In order to receive this offer, to take benefit of it, you may have to move, beloved, at a distance. Travel for a career, for work, for an assignment. It will all be funded. It will all be Weave their manifest it together for you in perfect timing. This is an ancestor blessing. If you do not venerate your ancestors, the time is now. Because your ancestors are bringing you in something that you pray for, that you manifested, that will change your life forever. A new career, a new opportunity, a new investment, something that will bring you prosperity and elevate you in your financial freedom and status. So give offering to your ancestors for bringing in this blessing. An altar, an offering left at a tree stump, an offer given to the river, burning, smoking, sharing a glass of wine, a meal with your ancestors over a conversation of gratitude. That love is oracle, another one of my oracle decks I designed for you regarding matters of the heart, love, connections, unity. You know there are people watching. You know you've walked away from some. You had your reasons. How do these people feel? How do you feel? What is to come? Hey, Spirit. First cut out. You're the star. Star card. Revealing. Healing. Emotional wellness. The star card is also one of public acknowledgement. Fame. Fortune. See the mountaintops. 
Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough to keep away from you what God has ordained you to receive. There's a lot of fire energy, passion, desire, wish fulfillment, taking action. Someone who is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could see you as a star. Aquarius energy. Yeah. Someone see you as long-term potential. Growing old together, a marriage, a commitment. You and I forever, we as one. Someone could want forever with you. Someone could make this information known to you in the month of December. But you'll get communication about the fact that they love you. They love you. They choose you. They want you. They see you as a star in their eye. They see you as forever bond. Husband or wife material. They want to buy a home, build a family, start new. Move in together. Get married. They've got youthful twin flame energy. This could be a person from your past, whether you know them or not. This could be a soulmate returning or someone from your past returning that never got off the ground. You could be in communication with this person. When this person is around you, they feel young, youthful. Being with you is like a ride on the Ferris wheel, higher heights, sky's the limit. They see beauty in your connection. This person may be watching you online. This person will be speaking about you with friends and family. They all could be watching you, seeing you shining, glowing, the star that you are. They want to learn you. They want to communicate with you. They want to work together with you. They want to collaborate with you. Build. With you, a legacy, possibly a business partner. They want to invest in you and maybe what you do. They want you to unlock your heart. They know you've been hurt many times in the past. Many, many heartbreak. They know that you've had to lock your heart to keep it safe from a lot, from a lot of people. But there's a hole in the fence. But they are trying to push through, get in, to show you they are different. That you don't have to be so guarded with them. You can be open, you can feel free, you can feel safe. You hold the key to their heart. Lock and key, you and I, forever. Now we have some, mad, some mindful messages. From spirit things that you should be aware of. Be mindful of. Remember, focus on. Include in your lifestyle and your daily routine. We've got an ancestor blessing of prosperity coming. We got an offer of opportunity and new romance coming. A collaboration, a partner. We have friends and family that you walked away from, missing you, watching you, talking about you, and feeling very abandoned and rejected by you choosing you. We got you coming into your intuition, elevating, ascending, being mindful of who you allow in your energy, seeing people for who they really are, awakening to the truth of what people don't say. By watching what they do. Instead, you are no longer living heavy in your emotions. You are in your third eye energy. In your crown energy. Still healing, still mending. Protecting your space. Being open to possibility. is what spirit wants you to be mindful of. But wait. There's more. 
Okay, that was, I don't even know how that car got in here. Cause it, but wait, there's more. It's blue. I should have taken it out, but there's a message in that for someone. Intentions. Today is the first start, no matter how my day was yesterday. I can make up today whatever I want. My intention for the day is write your intention. Take this to your door mirror so you remember as you leave your house every day what you're intentional about. So that's a manifestation ritual for someone. To have affirmations in your mirrors, sticky notes on your computer, on your walls, things you want to say to yourself, things you want to remind yourself of to stay elevated during dark times. Personal journey. I follow what feels right within me without needing validation from others. We are each on our own journey and mine does not need to look like anyone else's. My enjoyment and satisfaction is validation enough? Security, confidence, worthiness, balance, grounding. Follow my joy. Today I will write down 10 things I enjoy doing. The things that make me feel good and raise my mood. Then I'll pick one or as many as I feel guided to and go do that. When I am having fun and enjoying life, I am in a state of allowing for all that I desire to manifest. Be mindful of staying in a place of positivity, high vibration, self-love, self-kindness, affirmations. For the full month of December, it looks like things are headed in a very positive direction, beloved. It all depends on where your energy is allowed to go. Who you share your time with and why. That the energy is equally reciprocal and that there's value to your life when the experience is over. That you can look back with a positive memory to share with others. That is your full December mindfulness reading. I hope you received it well. <laughs> love it once again hit that like share the video if you can subscribe come back again hit that notification bell join the membership channel where we're building and adulting if you need a personal reading you want to give a donation everything you need to know is in the box below i will not drag it on you know how this goes until we meet again enjoy your beautiful day above and not below I shame my friend. I shame.